Hello everybody, my name is Zool and welcome to my suggested software. <laughs> In today's episode, we are going to be looking at a very interesting piece of software, and Zool, why the hell do you have a picture of ants on your screen? That's probably what you're commenting right now, I know. I know, I should probably address this right away before doing my usual introduction. This is not a video. It's not a GIF. This is actually my desktop wallpaper, uh, the desktop landscape, whatever you want to call it, a deskscape, as you will, which you probably recognize from the title of the video. If I double click to unhide my fences, which is another program I've suggested in the past, you'll notice that this is indeed my desktop wallpaper. Uh, and I've gotten it to look like this using a program called Deskscapes 8 by the same people who made fences. Uh, this program allows you to install .dream, um, which is what they call these dream wallpapers, but whatever, uh, which are essentially animated wallpapers with a couple of different custom settings. Uh, by default, you start with, I think, four or five different videos uh, with some different options, including the ability to disable things like the ants. And I'm going to just quickly show you a couple of examples. So you can apply um, this really cool water one. Uh, with the settings here, it's allow you to really customize the time. So let's say we want more drips. We want big, big drips. And you can even change the background. As ridiculous as this looks, this is something that you can do with this tool. Uh, and there's a couple of other things. There is a, a setting called filters, which I guess is probably better shown off by using a different wallpaper than this really weird one with my background. So. This is the earth, and now I'm gonna show you the effects pane. So the settings for this one just change the speed of the earth. We're just going to leave it where it is right now. Uh, and the effects pane allows you to place filters over things. So you can set things to black and white, and you'll be able to see what it looks like in the preview pane. Uh, kind of an alien filter, which gives you kind of a weird uh, color shifted blue. Uh, you can do a blue sky filter. Doesn't really necessarily look nice on this one, but it looks great on some of the other default ones. Uh, you can flip it horizontally to give you a backwards world, keep the greens only, uh, throw things into grayscales, invert it for a really funky looking image, and much, much more. Overall, uh, it gives you a nice little look to your desktop. Some of you may be thinking, okay, Zool, that's cool and all, but why on earth would I want an animated desktop wallpaper? The answer to that is pretty simple. Uh, for something like this, maybe you just like the animated look. It's something to just put a little smile on your face every time you look at your desktop. It's really as simple as that, and for a lot of people, that's all that really matters. Or perhaps, just like me, you create video content. After all, that's why I downloaded this tool. Uh, and since I create video content, I want to have something a little bit more interesting for my viewers to look at while I talk at a desktop screen all day. Uh, so for this, we are using um, this picture of the Earth, which I can leave in the background while I talk about other stuff. It's just something a little bit more interesting to look at while I make my tutorial videos. And the final reason I can see for you to use this software is for the wow factor. After all, if you were to open up a laptop or show somebody a computer with this screen running, I think it'll turn a lot of people's heads. Even a couple of tech-based people will probably look at this and go, that is awesome. Uh, I know it doesn't quite turn out as well as I would like it to in the video, so if you're getting a little bit of refraction, that's probably what that is, by the way. I've looked at some of the footage I've recorded from this, and sometimes it can look a little off, but, but in person, it does look fantastic. Uh, and that's not all. You can also download custom deskscapes. Uh, for example, I downloaded this one from the website that's available, uh, and you can get more of them by just clicking on this button right here and clicking the download more from Win Customize. From this page, you'll notice that there is um, the Deskscapes program, which we're talking about. There's also a program called Dream Maker, which allows you to create your own animated wallpapers. Uh, you can share them and upload them for the community. Now, I think currently uh, you have a download limit on how many things you can download per day, and some of these also cost money, so uh, keep that in mind. I think if you download uh, one for purchase, then you're able to download a bunch of other ones for free. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but just keep in mind that there is a cost associated with downloading 
some of these utilities. I'm not sure if you can upload things to charge or anything like that because we're not really covering the Dream Maker in this program. I just wanted to make people aware that it does exist. Overall, I think this is a pretty cool program, although it does come at a couple of costs. First of all, you do actually have to pay for this program, but second of all, it can cause some performance issues. Now for me, with my really strong computer, it's not much of a problem, although every so often I do get a couple of errors while recording because it kind of causes just a tiny little micro stutter in my video and my mild OCD just doesn't allow me to accept that. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have a lower end computer, this might not be the best bet for you, but it's just something I thought I'd share. Oh, and this program also comes with some, some JPEG wallpapers that you can also apply uh, the coloration and the effects to. So if you're interested in just say having this, which my girlfriend was actually a big fan of, even though it's just a regular JPEG wallpaper, uh, I guess you get those for free with this program as well. There's a free trial if you want to check it out. I've rambled for long enough. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Zool, and I've suggested Deskapes 8. I can't help but notice you coming down the street Smiling so dearly at everyone you meet I can't help but notice you throwing me a glance, a wink, telling me there's a chance. I've just got eyes for you. I've just got eyes for you. No other could enchant me, darling, like you do. I've just got eyes for you I've just got eyes for you